Welcome to this video. Have you wondered whether you can use your Commodore 64, an Ultimate 1541 drive emulator cartridge, together with GFIDOS? I'm Kai, and in this video I would like to show you how that works. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, the cool thing about using the Ultimate 1541 cartridge in this scenario is that you don't need to mess around with a physical ROM replacement for the GFIDOS kernel in your C64 because with the Ultimate 1541 uh, you can load and overlay ROM out of the cartridge just by configuration. You need to obtain the ROM files as binary files uh, one for the drive you are emulating, in my case I am emulating the 1541 and therefore I have a GFIDOS for the 1541. Um, you can also emulate a 1571 or a 1581 uh, with your Ultimate 1541 cartridge. In this case you would have to acquire the GFIDOS kernel for this drive which you are actually emulating. And the other uh, ROM file you need is the overlay ROM for the C64 and this is what I have both copied onto my cartridge. Switching over to the C64. This is now with the Ultimate 1541 cartridge installed but no GFIDOS configured. To do so we press the middle button on the cartridge which brings up its menu. And here in the flash disk, this is the location where I have copied the images into the ROMs folder, which is shown here. And here we have the image of the 1541. Here it is recommended that you use the one for 1541.2 drive because it has 16K and that is what is recommended for drive emulators. So pressing enter, we can set this binary as the ROM file for the emulated drive. Similarly, for the C64, the file is copied here and we can either load this as the kernel file, which would mean it is activated temporarily or uh, we can set it as the kernel ROM, which means it is automatically loaded whenever you uh, turn on your C64. I'm using the latter option now. If you want to test it temporarily, uh, you can use the other option and then press the reset button, which is the uh, right button on your Ultimate 1541 cartridge. In my case, I have set it now into the flash uh, of, of the cartridge so that when I now power cycle uh, my C64, so just turning it off and turning it back on, it will now initially load the kernel overlay image and the 1541 should hopefully have uh, also the, the GFIDOS image. We can quickly verify that uh, by again going to the cartridges menu with the middle button and then with F4 there is the uh, status information where it shows in the drive status that uh, GFIDOS 1541.bin is set as the drive's ROM. Now for testing as well that GFIDOS is active, um, we can just mount a disk. So again, from the flash drive, I will just mount this Hello World disk. And back here, I can use the GFIDOS command for listing the directory 
without overwriting the current basic program so which is at dollar and we can see this works quite well finally i would like to show you how to revert the settings we have made we need to press the middle button again on the cartridge come back to the roms folder where we also find the original 1541 rom going to set this now again back as the 1541 rom instead of gpverse and for resetting the alternate kernel we go to f2 and in the c64 and cartridge settings set the alternate kernel to none pressing the left button twice lets me confirm that i want to save this change to flash and after having done so i can power cycle my c64 and now it has booted back into the normal c64 basic without gpbus being installed I hope you found this video useful, wish you a lot of fun with your C64 going forward and thanks a lot for watching.